Notion recently released a brand new feature called Layout Builder. It allows you to customize the layouts of your pages in any way you want, ensuring that they work perfectly for you. These new layouts are super flexible and easy to use and in the rest of the video I'll be showing you how I turn my Notion pages from this into this. So I'm currently on my second brain template, which is available on my store if you're interested at all in this template. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So this is actually the projects page. And as you can see, I have a little card here with each of my projects. So we're actually going to be using Layout Builder to transform the way that these project pages look. So let's just click on one of the projects to open up the project page. And I'm just going to make this full page so that it's easy to see. So this is what a page normally looks like. So if you've been using Notion for a while, then you're probably familiar with this kind of page structure so we have a cover photo the heading you'll see all of the properties of the page here and then when you scroll down that's where you'll actually see the contents of the page now the new layout builder feature actually allows you to customize how this page looks so you don't have to have the properties here as they are you can actually add a panel that will pop up here at the side so I'm going to show you how we can transform this page into a more customized page so if you hover your mouse up here you'll now see this button appear that says customize layout so this is brand new it didn't appear before so if you click on that it's going to take us to the actual layout builder page so there are many different things to look at here so let's start by looking over on this side so the layout builder allows you to have this section here which is where you'll have these little blocks so the top one is going to be the heading you've got the property groups here and you can actually add more blocks like this to this part here but we also have this side panel here and we can add whatever we want to this panel so we'll start working on this side and then we'll add some stuff to the panel as well. So as you can see the different sections on this side of the page are divided up into blocks. So firstly we have the heading block and then we have the property group block which is where you'll see all of the properties within this database. So the first thing that you need to know is that you can actually pin properties to this heading block here. So if I just click on here, you'll see over on this side, it says heading and it'll allow me to add some properties to the pinned properties, which will then display here. So you can pick any of the properties from the property group. And if you pin them to the heading, they will disappear from the property group here. And instead they'll be pinned up here to the heading and they do show up slightly different. So let's pin a few up here. So let's maybe pin the progress bar. So to pin it, you can either search for it in here here, or you can just look in the list here. So let's start with this progress bar here. So I'm just going to click on this little pin symbol to pin it. So as you can see, it now says pinned properties progress. And if we now look at this heading block, as you can see, that progress bar has now been pinned. So as I said, they do look a little bit differently to the properties in the property group. They just display slightly differently. You get the heading just above and the actual property displays underneath. Let's pin one more. Let's maybe pin this status property here. So I'm going to find status and pin it. And as you can see, the second property actually displays next to the first one. So it is a different layout. I actually quite like the way that it looks. So you can essentially just pick maybe the most important properties to display here all next to each other. Let's maybe just grab a couple more. Let's add this days until, which is this one pin and as you can see it's displaying by the side as well and finally let's maybe just add the deadline on here as well so i really like how this looks now so we've got our most important properties displaying here and if you actually want to rearrange the order then you can look at the list here of the pinned properties and just drag and move them so maybe you would want the status first let's actually put the deadline i think at the top as you can see that's just going to rearrange the order now as i said earlier if you pin a property to the heading it will be removed from the property group so in the property group it will just display all of the other properties. We can also add further blocks here with more properties. So if I click on this, it's going to add another block. And if you then have a look over on this side, it's going to ask me what I want to add to this page. So you can use an existing property. So as it says here, it's going to say use an existing property and it's going to allow me to grab any of these properties from the page and I can actually add it as its own separate block. So just as an example, let's maybe just grab that progress bar that I used up here. So if I click on on progress as you can see it's now removed it from the pinned properties in the heading and it's now added it as its own separate block so it really depends on the layout that you want if you want to add certain properties as their own blocks like this another thing I love is that you can actually rearrange the order of these so let's say I want the progress to display up here I'm just gonna drag it and move it up so it displays just under the pinned properties like this the only one that you can't move at the moment is the heading block. So if you try and drag this, as you can see, it's just not going to let me drag it. That one has to display at the top, but anything below the heading, you can actually move and change the order of. 
You can also add new properties. So if we click again on this plus symbol, so as you can see, as well as selecting from an existing property, you can also just create a brand new property. So let's say you wanted to add a files and media property. I could just select it from here and it's just going to add another property to this database for me. So you could use this to add certain files or documents or photos. And remember, you can drag and drop these as you like. You can also click on these little three dots here and that will either allow you to move it down, which is an easy way as well to rearrange them. Or you'll also notice you can actually move move to panel. Now the panel is this section here. So this is a side panel that will pop up. And again, you can play around with your properties within this database. So you can actually display them on the side here. So let's maybe move this progress bar here to our panel. So if I click on the three dots here, I'm going to select move to panel. There are also some other options here. So you can add it to the property group, which is essentially just going to move this progress bar back into this group here, which is just the standard way that properties show up within database pages. Or if you want to remove this block completely, you can click remove from layout. But as I said, I want to move it to our side panel. So I'm going to click this button. And as you can see, it's now been moved over onto this panel. So that is the first way that you can actually add things to this panel. You can simply click on the three dots here and move it to the panel. Or you can actually add things to the panel by simply clicking on the button here to add a new block. So as you can see, we've added a block and similar to when you add a block to the main page here, it's going to ask you if you want to add an existing property or create a new one. So let's maybe add an existing ones and let's add our task status which is an existing property that's currently being displayed here in our property group so one thing to know is whenever you add something to your side panel it will be removed from wherever it is elsewhere so if it's currently in the property group it will disappear from here and move here if it's one of the pinned properties up here when you add it here it will disappear so that's just something to note so if I click on task status that property now appears here and it's no longer visible in the property group so I really love the way that the side panel looks. Again, you can easily drag and move these around and you can add as many properties here as you want. So I would generally recommend picking your most important properties. So let's maybe just add one more and let's maybe add the archive checkbox so I can easily archive the task. So I think at this point, I'm just going to delete this files and media property because I don't think it's really that useful. So to delete something, you can click on the three dots and click remove from layout. And it's going to give you a couple of different options. So the first option is to remove it from the layout, which means means that this property still exists. It will still be visible in certain database views and within the pages actual property group, which is this section down here, but it will be removed from the current layout, which essentially just means this block here is going to disappear, but the property still exists. Or if you want to completely delete the property as well as just this layout block, you can select remove from layout and database. So it will be completely deleted from the database as well. So I'm actually going to delete it from the database as well. So I'm just going to click remove and delete. And as you can see, it's disappeared. So you can play around with the properties as much as you want. I'm just going to make a few more changes. So I've just moved around some of the properties to ensure that it looks how I want it to look. So we've got the pinned properties here, which are the most important ones. So I've got the status as well as the deadline and the days to go property as well. Then over in the sidebar is where I've got a few more important properties like the progress and the task status, as well as the actual zone or reference group for this project. And then any other properties that are kind of important, but not as important as these ones I've left in the property group. So one other thing that you'll see appear along this side here is the page settings. If you currently can't see it, then just click on a blank space and it should appear. So these are just a few small settings. For example, you can set how your inline comments appear. So you can actually add comments onto database pages. So you can choose how you want them to display. Either they'll display as default like this, where it'll just display the person's profile picture as well as the actual comment. Or if you want them to display more minimally, it will simply display like this. So it's up to you how you want them to display. And you can also do the same for page discussions. So you can either have it expanded, which will display like this, or you can switch it off. I'm just going to switch it off for now. Another new feature that I really love is that Notion has added that you can choose to either show property icons or not. So it's currently toggled on. So if we have a look here at the properties, you'll see this little icon appearing next to every single one. So you can actually switch those off now. So I'm just going to toggle that off. And as you can see, all of the little icons have disappeared next to the property name and it's simply just the name. So I'll just toggle it back on because personally, I prefer having the icons, but it's really up to you if you'd prefer to have them off and simply toggle it off. So once you're happy with your layout, you can click this button here, which will simply apply it to all of the pages within this current database. If you end up changing your mind and you don't want to go ahead with the layout, then if you click the little arrow here, it will allow you to reset to the original page layout. As you can see, it says that no properties would be deleted. So it'll simply just reset it back to what it was before. But in this case, I am going to apply it. So I'm going to click apply to all pages. And as you can see, that's now been applied. So on first glance, we can see our pinned properties here, our property group here, and you'll notice that the 
side panel isn't displaying. So to get it to display, you'll just want to click on this button here, which says view details. And if I click on that, the side panel will pop open and show any of the properties that you've added into the panel. Another way to get the side panel to display is by clicking these three dots here, which says view details. So if you click on that, it will also display the side panel. So this layout is gonna display on every single page within that database. So let me just go back to the main page. So this is my main projects page within my second brain. So we added that layout to this page here. And as I said, that will apply to every single page within this database. So if I click on this project, let me just make it full screen. As you can see, the same layout is displaying. So we have our pinned properties, our property group, and also our side panel. Now, if at any point you change your mind and you want to get rid of this layout or you want to just edit the layout, then you can do so at any time by just clicking again on the customize layout button. That's gonna take you back to the layout editor. So you can play around with how the properties display or if you completely want to remove the layout and just go back to the default Notion setup. So if you just go into the top right hand corner, you'll see this button. And it, as I showed earlier, just click on this arrow and you can reset to the original page layout and just click reset it will reset it to the original page layout which looks like this and that's it that is notion's new layout builder tool if you are interested in the second brain template which is what i've been using throughout this video then i will leave a link in the description box below and i'll also leave a link to a video where i go in depth on how the template works the second brain features tons of awesome features like tasks goals projects and so much more it has tons of five star reviews from people that have used it so if you do want to grab it then as i said just check the link in the description box below